All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are back with Maple Story 2, the global release. Um, I am in the closed beta currently, um, and I already made a character, and I already played around a little bit because um, I did not have access to my studio microphone yesterday. So I'm going to start over. Um, I'm going to create a new character just so you guys can see the character creation and everything, and then I'll delete that character. And then we'll go back to my duty is to this land means, and its sense. people. What kind of fun um, should I have today? Gosh, that's really loud. I'll so keep you have the choice peace between here. Knight, Berserker, Priest, Heavy Gunner, Assassin, Thief, Archer, and Wizard. I wonder how um, everyone I've is doing I've already played back as Thief, Assassin, Heavy Gunner, and Priest in my Korean Maple Story videos. So if you guys want to go see that, go check it out. Um, I do have playlists on my channel. And you can customize your character. What I did is I went with a pink hair. Um, male with, uh, gosh, what kind of face? I gave him like a, um, no. I gave him this face with blue eyes. And then I did a big old scar on his cheek. And you increase the size of the scar by doing that. And then I kind of just made it more straight. And the skin tone was this. And his top was this. And the bottom was... The shoes were these, but pink. Okay, so that was my character. And uh, we'll name him uh, Random Archer Guy. Oh! Uh, I can't random. How about Archer. Ah, uh, dang it, what should I name him? Um, uh, I gotta think quickly, quickly, quickly. Archer. What? He's not an archer, he's a wizard. What the heck? Um, <laughs> I can't decide on name. How about a uh, Hoseki Archer? <laughs> Hoseki Archer! <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. Can you imagine studying on a day like today? No, no, I can't. And um, so this guy is like the, the class clown. He kind of goofs around and stuff. So that is the character creation. The character creation is super simple. You guys are going to love it. It is so much more customizable than the original Maple Story. And what is going on? Oh yeah, this there's a lot of cutscenes, so of I will um I'll just shut up and I'll let you guys watch the cutscenes. If you guys want to skip forward, just skip forward. It begins with two goddesses, one light, one dark. They created many worlds, but Maple World was their greatest. The greatest. Now in every realm, there must be balance. But the goddess of light loved Maple World and allowed no darkness to enter. Fearing this imbalance, the goddess of darkness lashed out. Oh no! So began their terrible war. The battle was long and brutal. But with the help of her sages, the goddess of light defeated her sister. Oh yeah. As the goddess of darkness fell, she unleashed her fury. Poisoning Maple World with her power. Unwilling to see her beloved creation destroyed. Also, one thing I do want to say, I'm just going to interrupt right here. The Korean version and the English version, or the, the global release, so they call it, um, the story is completely different. They have a specific story for each class. Which, when I played the Korean version, which I don't, I don't know if this is right or not, but... I'm pretty sure it was just one streamlined story. They didn't have different stories for each class, so I feel like they added a lot of uh, story elements to the game so far in the closed beta, which is pretty nice. Also, the closed beta is super packed. Um, I think they fit like 20,000 people all on one server, so it is really, really, really packed. Um, and it's, it's actually holding up pretty well, which is impressive. Um, and the shadows pooled in one place. I feel like uh, Nexon did really good with this game. Purification so ritual, yeah. The sages were gripped by the darkness. In the end, it took all of the Lapenta's power to protect Maple World from being utterly destroyed. The ritual site was corrupted. The whole region becoming a dreaded no man's land. Two of Erev's heroes, Syrian and Balin, stepped forward. They journeyed into this land of darkness on a mission to save anyone trapped inside. There, they worked to complete the purification ritual. And, in doing so, they met their end. 
the land of darkness was sealed away, where it could hurt no one else. With their noble sacrifice, these two heroes had bought peace. But now, the shadows stir once more, and this miraculous peace is nearing its end. The time has come for champions to rise again. This is a story of heroes. This is your story. And um, I'm going to go with the classic controls because I'm used to playing the original Maple Story. I'm going to turn down the volume real quick because that is really, 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 really loud. Uh, settings, where is the settings? Settings, 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 settings. Options, there we go. The sound, let's just take everything and turn it down to like 20%. Apply. There we go. Okay, now you guys can hear much better. Alright, so... Um, the game is super easy. Just like the original Maple Story. What? Okay, just like the original Maple Story. But it's a little bit, um... A little bit more three-dimensional, which is kind of nice. It's a nice uh, touch. New and um, refreshing. Uh, open P. You drag your little staff there. They give you a free staff. Escape, escape. Okay. And then you just kind of beat your way at it. And then you go, ka -chow! And you go through the portal. <laughs> I'm really afraid because my girlfriend is out there is making... Uh, lunch right now and I'm afraid she's gonna walk in and like hear me making all these stupid comments <laughs> it's easy to make weird comments when you're alone but like when people are watching you or you feel like people are watching you it, it feels really weird but it was the opposite way when I first started recording it was weird to talk to myself so yeah and this girl right here, this girl with the pink hair, she is so annoying. She's like the class president, and she wants to just ruin your future. And you're like the guy who skips class. So I'm just going to skip past this. It's real easy. It's just the professor saying, oh, well, the student's not here, and then that's that. So then you're like out there in the forest, um, fooling around, skipping class. And then you're like, oh, well, I'm late. And that's it. <laughs> Oh, he set a fire in the wood, that's what it was. Um, he tried to set... Um, he tried to set some food that he was cooking on fire, and then it set like the whole forest on fire, because he's a really powerful mage. And the cutscenes are very different. They're very dynamic, like the camera angles and everything. They used to be just stationary, so that's kind of nice. Hey, Kate, are you late too? Me late? Have I ever, have you ever in your life seen me show up late for class? And for your information, you aren't late. Class is over. What? You didn't even realize it, did you? At this point, I would be surprised if they held you back a year. I wouldn't. Be. That's perfect. I didn't feel like sitting through a boring lecture anyway. Want me to walk you home? Ugh, that vacant grin, that blank expression, the infuriating good grades. You have no idea how much I detest you. Oh, oh no. Oh, did you finally realize how much trouble you're in? I bet they'll expel you before the month is through. You never do your homework, you skip class, you have to get a makeup class with Inos. So much for playing hooky today. Now I'm bummed out. You better roll along, Kate. I'll walk with you some other time. Catch you later. Hey, are you listening to me? Hey! He doesn't like her. I wonder why her hair's pink too. Wait, did he say she has a personal class? It's a he. I won't allow it! Never! She is really annoying. I just, gosh. I guess they always put that kind of character in there just to, like, make you appreciate the other characters, but still. It's pretty annoying. Let me talk with Inos, you're tardy again. He's so nice. wonder why he has an angel wing, though. That's what I want to know. In like an ocarina. Okay, dude. Hey, magically late. Why didn't you tell me? Why did you skip class today? I'm sure you have a good excuse. Of, of course I do. My alarm clock has become set and has plotting against me. I'll get you next time, alarm clock. It's not the fact that you lied that bothers me. It's the fact that you use such a transparent lie. 
It seems you still require more discipline. P professor I shall be lenient with you today. All you have to do is clean up this classroom, without magic. Please, oh wise, generous teacher, anything but that. A wizard cleaning without magic? I'm a delicate flower. My hands are smooth and soft. Such a... Surely such a punishment is more suited to a warrior. Oh, the anguish, the humiliation. At this rate, I ought to set down my staff and pick up a great sword instead. Come now, Hoseki. I doubt you could lift a great sword. You really are something else. Enough forcing around, the classroom won't clean itself. It was worth a shot. And then you clean up papers, and you get to do more exciting things like kill stuff, but it's paper cleaning right now. Good job. How, uncharacteristic, how uncharacteristically thorough of you. See, I'm not a total lost cause. I have decided on your next punishment. What do you mean, next punishment? You didn't think it was over so quickly, did you? I take your education very seriously. Do you have to? Simply fetch that book and place it on the podium. Without magic? Without magic. I want to cry. Oh my gosh, what a punk. I like how every time you put on something you get like a little construction hat. I hope you learned to appreciate your magic. No, but I've learned how heavy textbooks are. A few more days of hard work like that and I'll be strong enough to clobber monsters with my bare hands. Since you're feeling chatty, you must have en enough energy for your study session. Did you remember your books? Let's catch up on what I covered in class today. Open your textbook to page 46, and we'll begin with the section dealing with cute monsters. Ahem. <clears throat> what should you do when a monster shows up and you just want to pinch its little chubby cheeks? Most students struggle with this concept, but a cute monster is still a monster. No matter how much its little chubby cheeks call to you, do not pinch them. Instead, unleash an arcane fire and eldritch frost on its adorable little faceykins. Hmm, this is actually pretty interesting. I'll summon some monsters for practice. Dispatch of them however you see fit. Okay, so you've got A, which is like this claw attack, which is really useful. Then you've got D, which is like a teleport, and this, which is like an AoE attack. So that that claw attack, I'm actually really appreciating the wizard, because those attacks are pretty cool. And oh, one thing I forgot to do. Um, let me skip through this. Um, so there is a setting which I recommend you all activate. Uh, escape options, and then graphics... Real-time shadows, anti-aliasing, HDR, and distortion effects. If you turn on distortion, I don't care if you turn on anything else, make sure you turn on distortion effects and, eight, well, I mean HDR, obviously. It makes everything a lot better. But the distortion effects makes the moves go from, like, from this, that, like, claw that looks kind of cool. Like, all those little extra things. It kind of dumbs it down if you don't have that turned on. So make sure you turn that on, because it naturally turns it off. And... Maple Story isn't a hard game to run. I mean, I'm running it on a Mac right now. So, I would really recommend you guys turn that on. Um, and, yeah, that can help you out a lot. Yeah, so, make sure you turn that on. Like, that is that is my number one recommendation. If you don't get anything else from this episode, I'm not going to read all this stuff. Anyways, what he's saying is, um, I have a lot of extra potential and blah, blah, blah. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, the, like, of course, the snitch comes in, like the... Whatever her name is. And she comes in and ruins everything. And then she wants to duel you, and then you're like, ah, okay. So you duel her. Um, the story's fairly simple, but I think with all the heroes, you're going to be, like, excelling in your class. You're going to be above other people. It's like, you know, kind of like an anime, you know, where they've got that one kid who's, like, amazing, and then everybody else is blah, blah, blah. Alright, so I will continue the battle in the next episode. Um, let me zoom in here. How do I turn... No, how do I turn it all off? How do I... Oh, there's... I know there's a hotkey for... No, how do I... How do I... No, what's the... Uh... Oh, I remember there was a button for the hotkey to turn everything off. Dang it. No. 
I don't want that. No, I don't remember how to do it. I remember I said it's a caps lock a long time ago. Alright, whatever. And I'll end the episode next to... Oh, um, nope, she's gonna try and kill me. Ah, no! <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna end the episode here. And let me see if I can get her on the right side of my screen. There we go. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna end the episode, and uh, you guys follow me in the next episode because I will be playing as my actual character with all my cool armor, and I'll show you what the, like, the Maple Story closed beta event armor and everything does. So, yeah, follow me there. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, and smash that thumbs up button for, you know, if you guys like this episode, it really helps me out. Alright, see you guys in the next episode.